Welcome to N1 Engineering Science. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at a two fulcrum beam. A beam is a structural member that is able to withstand a load. If there is no equilibrium between the load and support, the beam will start to bend. Here we have a one fulcrum beam, and we did an example in the previous video. It consists of an anti-clockwise force and a clockwise force. To calculate the moment, it'll be force multiplied by distance. A moment is the turning effect of a force measured in Newton meters. In equilibrium, the upward forces must be equal to the downward forces. The anti-clockwise moments should be equal to the clockwise moments. Here we have an example of a two fulcrum beam. Here we have a horizontal beam resting on two supports. We assume that the beam is evenly weighted. Now the distance between the supports is 2 meters and the distance on either side of the support is 0 0,5 meters. We have two objects resting on the beam, one of 10 kilograms and one of 20 kilograms. Therefore we have two forces pushing down on the beam and two unknown forces pushing up onto the beam. And we will refer to these two unknown forces as fulcrum A and fulcrum B, which is the supports. Now to convert kilograms into newtons, we will multiply by the acceleration of 9,8. Therefore, we will have a force of 98 newtons and a force of 196 newtons pushing down onto the beam. Now there are two parts to this calculation. In the first part, we are taking moments around fulcrum A. There are four areas on the beam where there are forces acting on the beam. And these consist of upward forces and downward forces. Now, because we are taking moments around fulcrum A, we will push up at point B. The sum of moments clockwise must be equal to the sum of moments anti-clockwise. To calculate the moment, it will be force multiplied by distance. Now, for the anti-clockwise moment, and for the other anti-clockwise moment, we have 98 newtons multiplied by the distance of 0, 0,5 meters, and the unknown force of B, which we will refer to as fulcrum B, multiplied by the distance of 2 meters. Now, for the clockwise moment, we have a force of 196 newtons pushing down onto the beam, multiplied by the distance of 0, 0,5 meters. If we mathematically simplify this, 490 is equal to 49 plus 2b. Now to work out the unknown value, which is b, and that is the upward force, 490 subtract 49 divided by 2 gives us an upward force of 220,5 newtons. Now we're going to take the moments around fulcrum B. Once again, the sum of moments clockwise must be equal to the sum of moments anti-clockwise. There are four areas on the beam where there are forces, and that includes upward forces and downward forces. Now we are taking the moments around fulcrum B. To calculate the moments, it will be force multiplied by distance. Therefore, we are pushing up at point A. Now, for the clockwise moment, we have a force of 196 newtons pushing down, multiplied by the distance of 0, 0,5 meters. We have another clockwise moment from point A, multiplied by the distance of 2 meters. And that is the unknown force A. Now, for the anti-clockwise moment, the 98 newtons pushing down multiply by 2,5 meters. If we simplify this mathematically, 98 plus 2a is equal to 245. Therefore, 245 subtract 98 divided by 2. It means the unknown force A, which is pushing up, is 73,5 newtons. Now, just to recap, once again, we have a beam resting on two supports and the upward forces must be equal to the downward forces. The upward forces of 73,5 plus 
220,5 must be equal to the downward forces of 98 plus 196. Thanks again for watching these videos. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you.